Good morning. So for Wednesdays, we're going to call it What the Wednesday, where we answer a question related to some of the stuff we've posted recently. So yesterday I spoke about a patient that was the worst disc injury that I've ever seen in my career to that point and how it got healed with robotic laser enhanced spinal decompression. And the other one with uh, the displaced bone, kind of anterolisthesis, bone slipped forward, how the disc was pumped back up and actually evidence, proof of that was on x-ray. Um, so why that is very important is you may see some of our ads sometimes, doctors or patients uh, that may be watching this. And if you've done ads before as a doctor, you know, you get some crazy comments, you get some crazy things from people that don't have all the information that they need. So one of the purposes of doing these videos also is to give people a little more, bit more information so they can understand these things a little bit better. So quite recently I had one gentleman say that, gee, this is false advertising. This is just impossible. Is anyone here a lawyer that can help me go after this false advertising? Like, well, firstly, it's not even someone in the vicinity of our, any of our clinics that could be able to go there, nor were they there. So it's just a, you know, a troller comment and, or troll comment, trollers fishing. So different thing. Um, the other one was, uh, there is absolutely no way that this works for arthritic knees. I had my knees replaced 20 years ago and it's the only solution. This is just crazy if this person thinks that this is going to help someone with knee pain. Well, we've helped thousands and thousands of people with knee pain and this person seems to be talking from experiences 20 years ago. Um, my knees have been great since I had them replaced 20 years ago. Well, um, okay, 20 years ago there was a whole bunch of technology, or there wasn't technology that exists the way it does now. Um, for us it's lasers and it's the ability to decompress through the meniscal decompression that um, I, I will take credit for creating because um, we had a traction unit and laser and I had someone, my assistant that many of you know, um, one of my longest working assistants uh, that is now retired, uh, that was helping her was the reason we first started doing this, uh, the knee decompression. So, and it worked very, very well for her. In fact, now she has a key to my office and she goes in and treats herself on her own whenever she needs it. And a number of years has gone by, she hasn't needed knee replacements yet. For some of these people, I had a guy the other last week who just said, well, if I can get through another eight years of working before I get my knees replaced, that would get me to my retirement point and that will get me my pension that will, I will be able to retire happily and then I can do my knees if I need to then because I drive a truck and if I can't drive a truck because of the placement of the knee replacement and the doctor said that is possible, then what am I going to do? I can't work anymore and I'm done. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to not get replacements for the next eight years and then get them when I retire if I need them. And in that period of time, there'll be new technologies that, came, that come out. So 20 years ago, let's talk about this. 20 years ago, we didn't have a cell phone that can do exactly what I'm doing right now. Video something like this and post it on the internet. We didn't have a phone that could search the internet 20 years ago. We had a cellular phone and that was the newest in technology. So all the things that we can do with our phones now, you couldn't do 20 years ago. So what makes you think medicine is any different? Rehab is any different? There are technologies now that didn't exist back then. There are technologies now that didn't exist five, six years ago. And laser is a great example of that. Um, it did exist, but when I started with it about 20 years ago, it didn't work very well. I had a little 10 milliwatt, 15 milliwatt laser. I'd hold that thing on people forever and it wouldn't work. I, I didn't, I don't think I found one person it worked on. About 2007, 2008, I bought another laser, which is a class 3B. It worked phenomenally and then technology improved again for these class 4 lasers that we put robotically enabled in our tables. That stuff didn't exist then. So the results that it can get did not exist then. So here's my point to this whole explanation. If you're someone or you know someone or you're a doctor that treats people that have lost hope, that have decided that there is no solution for them, or they have been told that, even worse, sometimes they've been told by their doctors, 
other doctors, medical, orthopedists, that there's no hope for you. You either got to get this replaced or you got to live with the pain the rest of your life. Here's some medication that you can be on the rest of your life to deal with the pain because that's the only way you're going to be able to do it. So, and people think that that's okay. People think, oh, I don't have another choice. And then when I say, well, if you could do a maintenance treatment of this every once in a while, maybe every two weeks, maybe every four weeks, depending. Oh, no, 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 no. That means it doesn't work. If I have to keep doing it, it doesn't fix the problem, then, you know, why am I going to do it? Well, a lot of people think that taking pain medication for the rest of their lives is normal. Um, if you were going to the gym to stay fit, it would be normal to regularly exercise to keep your body healthy and to keep away disease and dysfunction and so if you have to do a maintenance treatment of you know a rehab type visit a decompression for the spine um, decompression for the knees hips the neuropathy treatment where you use laser and microcurrent to stimulate those cells to keep them healthy um, supplements eating well all this stuff if you have to adopt those healthy habits for the rest of your life to stay healthy that's a lot better situation than adopting a pill to mask the pain that you're feeling because you don't want to do all those other things. Might be a little easier to pop that pill, but it's probably going to turn out a lot worse. The joints are going to degenerate, you're going to need to replace them, or you're going to be in a position where you can't use them at all. You have so much back pain you can't stand up anymore. You have to get it fused, and then that surgery takes a long time to, to recover from. All these other things that if you just did a little bit more prevention, a little bit more understanding of how prevention works, that you would be in a much better position and be able to live your life normally. So um, if you're a doctor or a patient in one of those positions or you know someone in one of those positions, show them this video. And if they're not accessible to any of our clinics or have a very good network of doctors that actually care, that actually probably can help and we can at least set them in the right direction and if you're a doctor that would like to provide more of these groundbreaking solutions then get a hold of me and we will see what we can do to get you put in that direction thanks so much for watching really appreciate it what the wednesday's um first edition i hope you enjoyed it and got some good information out of it thanks so much